Hello students, I wanted to do a quick review on this brief video uh, and then I want to add another video two or three for you to kind of supplement while I am away uh, the next couple class periods. Anyway, to start with, let's look at what I sent to you. I emailed to each of you the basic code that I demonstrated in class. I would like to review that. Before we do that, firstly, I want to place something back in here in the top of the code. I'm going to go to code view only. I may go rather quick with this, but it's fine. You can pause it, rewind, whatever you need to do on the video. But notice at the very top where it says HTML and of course the number one is red, which means there's some kind of error. That doc type must be declared first. We don't have to have that. I wanted to simplify things for the um, beginning of the HTML introduction. But since we want certain things to align and have a functionality a certain way, we need to go ahead and put that back in there. The quickest way is to do this. Let's open up another new HTML document. Let's say File New. And you will get this new HTML. And then if I can zoom out here so I can see it, I'm going to say Create. And notice we have now two tabs. We have the current one that we are working on and then this, this new that very first line says doc type space HTML. Let's copy that. I'm going to close that tab out and let's insert that right in front and do it like that. And we should eventually see this uh, actually function properly. Maybe this will go away in a, in a bit. All right. Uh, another thing is now in the design view, our uh, wrapper and content will float in the center. Before it was just hanging to the left so I wasn't getting an accurate view. That's why I wanted to do that. So let's go back to code view and let me just line by line let's go over this. Uh, HTML is basically establishing the fact that this is an HTML document. This first line is for uh, whether you're using a, an iPhone, an Android, you're using a laptop, a phablet, a tablet, whatever you may be using, that it will detect the kind of uh, um, coding that's being used. And so we'll, it will know how to interpret it. These numbers, again, mean very little to nothing other than they're just giving you a reference point where things are at. Uh, I could put multiple spaces, say, between these two tags. I could just space, 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 space. It's not going to affect the code. So you organize things how you want to, but I highly recommend that you keep things uniform and neat and do some indentions that are kind of equivalent throughout. It really makes the code easier to uh, troubleshoot. First we have the head in this area here you'll see these three lines so far. Uh, the only thing we have in the head at the moment uh, is the title and then the style and the style continues on down through until the style closes. This style right here, all of this is CSS, cascading style uh, information. This stylization, eventually we're going to cut this and paste it in a new document called style.css and we'll just simply link to it. That way when we make three, four, five, six other pages we can link to that one style sheet and it will be controlled if that makes sense. Okay, and again the very first uh, style, I'm going to indent this body, uh, is the body. The things that are universal. If you want all H1s to be black and 42 pixels Gil Sands bold, you know, we would do the stylization here. I'm going to leave that blank for a moment. Then we have the wrapper. It has a hashtag in front of it because the hashtag represents an ID, I period, D period, an identity for uh, all of these parameters to be affecting just the wrapper. The wrapper, remember, is that big container that goes around everything. You see this box right around here? This is the wrapper. We put the header inside the wrapper, we put the nav after the header, we put our content area next here, and then we put our footer uh, lastly. We gave this wrapper a fixed height of 500 pixels for the moment. Later we will change that. In fact, we could change it right now. So why don't we do that? Okay, we're going to go to the code view again, and uh, where it says wrapper height right here, 500 pixels. Let's change this to auto. Okay, and that means it will just conform to whatever content is in there. 
And as long as we have fixed heights on these other things, all the, like the header, the nav, it will conform to those. Uh, that way it will line up just, just perfectly for us. Our site. Let's hit File Save. Hit Save Frequently. And uh, you can see we've stylized the background color here, antique white. We've got color purple, which means, really that means text color. Uh, we can put other colors in here. By the way, when you mouse over the color, it'll actually show you a sample of what that color looks like, which is kind of cool. Right? And then background color black over here, background color green over here. Yeah, so you can see that that Dreamer is really helping in that sense. So we got different colors. The content area, I didn't put a color in, so it's left clear, it's left blank. So we see the background really of that wrapper coming through because it's inside the wrapper. It's antique white. You guys have total freedom to change the colors, even to change the heights of these things, okay? I want to add one more bit of code down here in the footer. These are all divs, D-I-V, divisions of space, uh, or containers, we call them. But under the footer, I want to do this. We're going to say clear, colon, both. And this is another tag which basically makes sure the footer lands beneath everything that's before it. Okay, all of this content together from the style close to the style open, this is all the CSS. It's up in the head. Notice the head here is still uh, beneath the style. So it closes right after the style closes. All right. And then one more time, we're looking at the body. I deleted that sentence and paragraph that you guys started writing. We're going to put some content in here in a moment. But remember, we set div space ID equals wrapper. It's recognizing this hashtag wrapper up here as far as the style. Hashtag header, nav, content, footer. We took the closed div. This is very important. We took that closed div that was originally up here we wrapped it around the footer and everything else. So what we want to do is put that back. And that purpose of that is that this will be five containers, but the main container wrapper is containing the other four because this div closes around it. Then of course the body closes, HTML closes. Uh, hopefully that's a good enough review. We'll always save and save frequently. Make sure you're saving it inside the root folder, not outside of it. And we'll go to the next video. Feel free to review this as you need.